Hello everybody and welcome to your fourth Allegro HD tutorial. In this tutorial you'll be learning on how to draw text to the screen. Uh, this should be a fairly short tutorial so I hope you enjoy. One thing I think I forgot to add in my last tutorial is to put Allegro underscore exit. If I didn't include it then you can include it in your program now. Now um, another thing that I've changed is to install the keyboard. Also, I've taken out the code from the previous tutorial based on closing the window with the X button. Um, the reason being is that I don't want it to be confusing with the other code. So, But if you would like to inclu include that into your code, then by all means, you can do it. So, two things that I have. Do not worry about my commented code. That is for the next tutorial. So, two things you see is screen width. Um, I should change to 800 and screen height is set to 600 so remember how I, at, the, at my old, earlier tutorials when I had 800 and I had 600 here well I replaced it with the value screen width and screen height and the reason why if you don't know what the define is it's basically it's a preprocessor di directive that is basically like a constant variable so it sets a constant value that is basically global throughout the implementation file and if you don't know what an implementation file is, it's a CPP file. Or if you declare them in a header file, then yeah, same use. It's just a, basically like a global constant variable. So anyways, um, with the, uh, the reason why you, d you should do this is because a lot of things that, a lot of things in game programming are, are affected by the screen height say you were to minimize the um the screen window then the screen height would get smaller then mean that means you'd have to scale down your actual players images and stuff and that would be determined by the actual screen height so the screen height is very important and you don't want to be, have, be having to change the screen height individually throughout your whole program um every single time you have to alter changes if you have two distinct defined statements or two distinct variables or whatever you have them as, if you have them as a constant variable or anything else, doesn't matter. If you have them as distinct like this and you only change the values alone, then it, you only have to change these two values and it affects the whole program as a whole. If you don't have these here, then anything else that's associated with the screen width and the screen height, you'd have to change those individually throughout your whole program, and it could just be a pain, and it would take up a lot of extra programming time. And if you still don't understand this concept, then you, I will, ex you will see better uh, after this tutorial. So, right here, all of this initialized stuff you should already know from previous tutorials. So I have three t um, drawing routines for text. Text out underscore ex, text out underscore center underscore ex, and text out underscore right underscore ex. So if you can guess, then text out underscore ex basically sets the writing pointer to start from the left hand side. And the center ex just uh, it starts the writing pointer from the center from where you displayed the x and y coordinates and the right starts the typing pointer from the actual right and if you've used Microsoft Word or something then you would kind of grasp the idea of what I'm talking about so let's see what these parameters are doing so if I type out text out underscore ex if asked for a bitmap a font, a string, x, y coordinate, a color, and a background color. We haven't learned about bitmaps yet, but there's a built-in bitmap in Allegro called screen. And basically, it will draw everything to the screen. Also, we're not learning about fonts in this tutorial, but Allegro has a built-in um, variable, or whatever you like to call it, called font and uh, for the string you can write whatever you want to be shown on the screen so I'll put coding 
codingmadeeasy.ca. Don't forget to go on the website. And the x and y coordinates. Now, if you not if you're not into math, then and you want to do game programming, then you better learn to love math because math is a big part of game programming. Not so much 2D, but especially 3D game programming. But um, here's a, just a little bit of math that you need to know. It's not anything rich or anything. It's not anything that's vigorous. It's simple. If you've learned in math, there's something called a Cartesian plane, which is a basically like a 2D graph, right? And along your Cartesian plane, you have an x coordinate going from left to right, and a y coordinate going from top to bottom. Now, in Allegro, the point on the Cartesian plane zero zero is in the top left corner, right? So going towards the right of the screen will increase in the in the x coordinate and moving downward along the screen will be increasing the y coordinate right normally in a Cartesian plane when you go down on a graph it's like it's a negative value but in Allegro it's not so in Allegro the farther up the screen you go the lower the value is and the lower the screen you go the larger the value is so it's kinda hard to get used to but you will get used to it you will grasp the concept so let me move this to the side for a second so let's look at the first text out ex right here we set the x coordinate to 100 and we set the y coordinate to 100 so from when allegro reads this it goes 100 pixels to the right and it goes 100 pixels down and then it says okay start drawing hello world and since the pointer starts from the left hand side then it starts drawing hello world right there right and simple enough right now for the centered I put this is why I was saying that's a good thing to put screen width and screen height because I want to draw the centered text exactly in the center of the screen in order to get the center of the screen for my x coordinate I'll put screen width divided by 2 and for my y coordinate I'll put screen height divided by 2 right and so I get so then the screen the screen width is 800 so 800 divided by 2 is 400 so we would go 400 pixels to the right and then um, the screen height is 600 so 600 divided by 2 is 300 so it would go 300 pixels down and since the is since it's the center, then I'll start drawing, start drawing the text from the actual center, and then it draws the text fully, and the text is fully centered, right? And so let me exit this. And the reason why I do it like this is because I could easily put 800 divided by two, and and I could put 600 divided by two over here, right? Like so. But then say. I changed the screen height to 400 by 400 for, by, for some reason, right? Then suddenly, my text isn't in the center anymore because um, it's not it's not set like it's not set to screen height divided by it's screen width divided by two and screen height divided by two. It's not dividing equally to, according to the screen width and height. So if I want to change the overall screen width and height, then I have to go back to my program, go and change this to 400 divided by 2, and change this to 400 divided by 2. And if you have a lot of those, then it can get annoying. That's why you have one main define statement to define your screen width and screen height so you can modify the values easily, right? So after since we've found the x and y coordinates and how they work let's go to actual creating the color now if you've ever learned about the rgb color scale basically if you've done painting whatever like in kindergarten or something you've learned that if you mix certain colors you can create newer colors and the rgb color scale there's red there's red green and blue for each parameter you can put in a value between 0 and 255 the higher the value the greater the intensity right so then in the color thing there's a function called the make call and then you can mix the different sorry you can mix the different color values to make a new color 
So basically 255 of red and 255 of green will make a vibrant yellow color, right? Because it's full red intensity, full gr green intensity will make a full yellow intensive color, right? And therefore that's how we get the yellow text on the screen. Once we go to the centered, make um call is equal to 255, 0 and 0. And since um 255 it's 255 red intensity and there's no green intensity and no blue intensity, so therefore it'll draw red text. And same for the right, it will draw it has zero red intensity, 255 green intensity, and zero blue intensity, so it will draw green text. Now let's go to the background color. Now sometimes you don't want to have a background color. If you want it to be transparent or no background color, you just put the value negative one in the parameter, right? If you would like a um a background color, you do the same thing as the colors. You put make call and determine the color that you would actually like to draw to the screen. Now we don't. I don't expect you to memorize um the the values for different colors. So if you could go on, if you go on Google and type in RGB color scale or whatever, you can find the RGB values to create the custom colors that you want. And if you go to paint and whatever uh, or something and you select the color, um, like let's go to paint quickly, and you select the color you want, and I go to edit colors, right? And I select the color, it will give you it should give you the red yeah it will give you the red value the green the red intensity the green intensity and the blue intensity and you can in turn transfer that to your program you can in turn and transfer that to your program and do whatever you want with it so oh this tutorial went on longer than I intended but I hope you enjoyed this and the next tutorial should be very enjoyable as well so thanks for watching this, hope you enjoyed it, and bye.